I, I just um, coached a bunch of my students um, for their first amateur fights. There, there was a, a fight show here in Shanghai um, on Saturday. And you know, one of my students, Ali, you've seen him in a few, a few of my videos. You know, he's, a, he's a dude from Bosnia, a tough athletic guy. And he has his first amateur boxing match. He comes from a karate background. Um, but his first amateur boxing match, and he won. Three-round decision, you know, decent performance. But afterward, he comes up to me and he says, I'm so sorry, coach. I'm so sorry I disappointed you. And, and he was so unhappy with his performance because he got tired. He gassed out. You know, he's, he, um, he didn't stick to the game plan. He didn't box the way, you know, in, in, in this fight that he did in the gym. And he was like, man, I've got such a long way to go. And I was like, good. It's good you recognize that. It's good you recognize that because most, most people, you know, when they win, they pat themselves on the back and everyone's like, good job, you won. And they feel good about that. And, you know, maybe they'll think, I can improve this. I, I, I can improve this detail here. But I was actually really happy to see how disappointed he was in his performance because I was like, that is the emotional content that elicits change, positive change. Like this guy is going to make some changes and next time he's going to get better. And I can tell next time he's going to win his next fight and he's going to come out of that fight disappointed. And he's going to be like, man, I mucked that one up too. And then he's going to fight a tougher guy and he's going to beat that dude. He's going to do a little better, but he's going to be that much more disappointed. And it's, it sounds like a terrible process, but it's a beautiful thing to be able to yeah. critique yourself to that level. And I think that's it, of, right? Yeah, oh, oh, exactly. Sorry, the Bruce Lee fans, they, they hate hearing me talk like that about Bruce Lee, that he was disappointed in himself, even though, you know, he wrote about that. His, his wife went into detail about how, how disappointed he was in his own performance, but it's the truth. That is, what a, that is what a good martial artist does. Well, I think that... Not, not that we're talking about it. It just made me think of something. I think that uh, himself, he was probably dis uh, he was uh, he was under the illusion that he could fight mm. because he fought, he 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 got into some street fights in Hong Kong, beat up a couple of guys here and there. Which when he was a kid, on the way. Hmm? When he was a kid, he was a teenager when he had those fights. Yeah, like kids well, fighting other kids. Other kids versus fighting a grown man. Exactly, kids fighting other kids who where both kids don't really know how to fight. They just know a little couple of, uh, you know, passes here and there that they might have picked up. But, I mean, that means absolutely nothing, right? And then he went and trained, and then he was all into his, his thing, thinking that what he knows is really efficient and really works, and he was cocky about it. And I think now that we're talking about it, I think he essentially realized after, Wong, like, the fight with Wong Jack Man that he, he realized he couldn't really fight. I yeah. think he realized that in a big way, and that's why he went. He went. He started looking for the truth now, right? So he wanted to learn how to fight, and then that's when he started like studying boxing, grappling, and all kinds of stuff. And eventually, um, you know, he broke his back, and he he had time to sit down and think about Jeet Kune Do and all that. And so, I think that's it. That's it. Like he did, he he when he practically got, oh, well, he won. But I mean, he could have easily lost. Yeah. That's what I think will happen. And he realized, shit, I don't, I don't know how to fight. And I'm, yeah, I'm going course, about, I have all these schools that I'm teaching. Yeah. You know, and exactly. I'm teaching not pure nonsense because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So I got to figure this out because this can't, like, this, this, is, this is not like, you know, it's, his pride probably took a big hit there. And that's oh, when yeah. he's like, yeah, I got to really study this and, and figure it out. And I think he did to a certain extent. And, uh, but I mean... Yeah, anybody who's never been in, uh, who com who's never competed in a combat, combat, um, you know, sport or, or fought, you know, uh, in a ring or anything like that, I mean, yeah, of course, like, you could, um, you don't really know what it's like. It's, it's, you could win and still realize that you suck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just the other guy made one more mistake than you did. You got and, lucky, you know? Yeah, that's all it is like because you know i i compete in judo and there are times when i'm like i can't believe i won that and i won by like one point just because the guy made a mistake and i cap i was able to capitalize on a little technicality 
you know, I, I held them down a little bit longer and then we ran out of time and I won, but I still know that that was a crappy victory. 